Half-Life, a series known for revolutionizing the gaming industry and for being so far ahead of its time that some series today still haven't caught up. Allow me to dissect this 22-year-old game and show you my analysis. At first glance, there does not appear to be much story. You walk around and stuff sort of just happens. But when you look closer, you realize just what the game is doing. Instead of having cutscenes take control away from the player to tell them a story, you are instead left to discover the story yourself. At no point does the game take control away from the player. While the AI is telling you what you need to do, there is a good chance that you can just run past, shoot them dead and skip the scene, or explore and gather supplies while the scene is going on. It helped the player set their own pace. This also helped in making the protagonist, Gordon Freeman, be an avatar for the player to project themselves onto. Do you help every scientist you meet, protecting them and bringing them to security guards? Or have you been waiting for this moment to take revenge on those pompous pencil pushers and go on a mass homicidal run, killing every scientist and security guard for that sweet ammunition and catharsis? You are the reason everything happens. You are not a passenger in this story, you are the one creating it. You push the crystal into the beam. You cause the resonance cascade and bring about the end of the world. You then fight your way through aliens to get through the Lambda Complex in order to go through the portal and into the border world to close off access to Earth from the other side. You hear about the Lambda Complex very early on, but it is not until the end of the second third of the game that you get to go there. It's building the world around you without even being aware of it. Posters on the wall show several locations later on in the game. The intercom will mention later levels right at the start of the game, and you pass a certain rocket in the intro sequence that you later get to launch. It genuinely feels like this is a real world with real people living in this underground lab, which makes it all the more catastrophic when you visit these locations but find them all destroyed, with dead guards and scientists littering the halls and aliens eating the corpses. And we have not even mentioned the US military. The government finds out what's going on and sends the HECU special forces to clean things up. They have orders to silence any witnesses. The HECU fail miserably. So they call in the Black Ops, who are ordered to not only destroy the base and kill all witnesses, but to also kill off any Marines still in the base. It's complete anarchy. It was actually Half-Life's AI that won it so many awards. It was incredibly high tech for the time period. Soldiers worked together and declared what they were doing. They can be seen fighting the aliens, using cover, throwing grenades when the player hides behind cover to flush them out, and have damage states. Shoot a soldier enough and he starts to limp, clutching his wounded body, dropping his gun to his side. Desperate to get away and seek medical help, they even call for a medic. Oh, medic. Aliens have their own unique way of interacting with each other as well. Some aliens can even work together. Let's look at the Hound Eyes, a dog-like alien with a lot of eyes. They roam in packs which give them strength. If you are attacked by one of their own, they will do very little damage. Without armor, they deal a measly 9 damage to your health. With armor, they only deal 1 damage to your health. However, if they are in a pack, they will have a pack alpha. These buff the other's damage. You can tell by the color of the sonic boom they create. The deeper the blue, the more the damage they deal. Once they are at full strength, they can easily kill the player from full health even with armor as shown in the footage. Heck, even the cockroaches have intelligent AI, something never before seen in a game. They will run towards food, gathering in numbers to eat, and will run away from the player. They didn't need to make AI for the cockroaches, but they did. Honestly though, the best part has to be the Vox intercom system and soldiers' voice lines. 
They are sound clips of single words that are simply played one after the other, so you can easily make your own lines. But I've spent far too long here. I'll let the Vox speak. Hello, Gordon Freeman. You have failed to get topside. Now you will not get out. I am sorry. Goodbye.